What's up Geeksters? It's me Omar from Geekster Labs and today I have a video roundup for some products that were sent to me from Nomad. So the first two products I'm going to be showing you are brand new products that they just launched on their site and a few of the other items I'm going to be showing you in this video are some things I personally use myself with my products as well from my Apple Watch, my AirPods and my iPhone 11 Pro. So without further ado, let's get to the review. All right, so the first product I'm gonna show you is one of two new products that they just released from Nomad, and so this is the Active Strap. And so if you guys are familiar, they have other straps for the Apple Watch. This will work with all ver variations of the Apple Watch, um, all models. So this one retails for $70, and so as it looks like it's just a regular leather band, but the difference with this one is that it's actually a waterproof leather band. And so let me go ahead and pull it to the side here, and this is the actual band or the, the band on my Apple Watch here. And so this is available in black or mocha or brown, and uh, it, it comes with either, you can get the black hardware or you can get it with the silver hardware. And so this retails for $70. And so the difference between this band is it has this kind of coating on it. They call it their hydrophobic leather. Uh, and it has like an interesting kind of coating that it feels, it smells like real leather. It doesn't feel like real leather. It feels a little bit like there's something on it, but I mean, that's the whole purpose for it. So this is something you can use to be active, to do sports, uh, to go in the water, things like that. And then it's not gonna you know, mess up the leather as easily as it would reg regular natural leather. It also has these kind of ventilation cross sections in here. So when you are getting sweaty or there's, you build up a lot of sweat in your arm, it will allow a little bit of air to get into there. So it doesn't just trap that moisture under the band, kind of like mess it up a little bit. But like I obviously have here, this is the black version, but they do have the silver hardware version. And this is obviously the black band right here. So really nice, really good for working out with and such. I'm, I've been kind of looking forward, looking for something that I, before this one, I actually, I actually was using the active, I think it's called the active band from uh, Nomad. And uh, at, over at some over some time, it's it's gotten, it's gotten a little bit more uh, broken down a little bit. So I was looking for something that looked more like leather, but that would hold up a little bit longer. And if you've used leather bands with uh, with your Apple Watch while working out, it gets kind of gross. And so this is probably like the perfect solution for me. I'm really glad they sent this to me. So I've been using this while working out and so far it's held up pretty well. So this is the active strap. Like I said, 70 bucks for every single version of the Apple Watch. It will work with all models of the Apple Watch. Next item on the list is their brand new active rugged case. So this case actually uses leather that is just like the leather on the Apple Watch band that I just showed you. This one retails for 50 bucks. It's available for the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max. I'm gonna be showing you it on my 11 Pro. So this is also available in black, which is the version I have, and brown or mocha. And those are the two color variations. So let me go ahead and show you the case right here. So here is the leather case itself. Um, it has this nice, interesting coating on it. Like I said before, hydrophobic leather it smells like leather but it feels the texture is a little bit different so this will hold up to any kind of rugged use when you're getting wet or any kind of like a hardcore type of thing like that when you're going to be it's, it's going to be in moisture things like that this is going to hold up a little bit better than actual normal leather so let's go ahead and pop it in my phone so you can see some of the ports and such like that so when you pop it in there as you can see on the side we have a nice big cutaway there for the uh the mute switch on the side right there. Then we have the volume up and down buttons. Those are being protected, but you can still feel the click through the case itself. Those are pretty stiff though. And it has just a, just a smooth uh, texture on the edges right here. On the bottom, we have a large opening here for the uh, microphone and speaker. And so the, another thing you'll notice that's kind of interesting, it has two loops here for a lanyard. So if you want to attach a lanyard to that, it doesn't include a lanyard, but if you want to attach a lanyard, there's a little loop right there or right here that you can put it onto there. And the port opening for the lightning connector is uh, pretty large. So you should have no issues with larger uh, lightning cables that are probably bigger than the ones that come from Apple. Get to the side, we have the sleep wake button and it has also been protected. You can still feel the click through the case as well. So that's pretty nice. It has like a little grip, a rubbery grip, grippy type of texture onto there as well. And then we get to the back, we have the camera opening. Everything lines up real well. No bounce off of the flash or anything like that. Nice, perfect style, perfect lineup. You can see kind of like the, the edge right there. It is not a thick case at all. So this is still minimal. It still uh, is not gonna add much bulk to your phone. If you get to the uh, the front of the case, let me see if I can, so if you look on the edge right here, I have a glass screen shield on my phone, so it's a little hard to tell, but there is a slight lip on the uh, the case itself. So if you put the case face down, it, your phone is not touching, the glass screen of your phone is not touching the table because there's a slight lip on there. So everything lines up, looks really good, really rugged, really nice. This will uh, this does work with wireless charging, so if you do want to use it with a wireless Qi charger, like Nomad's wireless charger, which I will be showing you in this video, this case will work with Qi chargers, so you can use wireless charging with this as well. So this is the active rugged case in black for the iPhone 11 Pro for uh, 50 bucks. 
Next on the list is the AirPods Rugged Case. And so this one is the one that works with the wireless AirPods, which I have. So this retails for 35 bucks. If you want the one that doesn't have to be for wireless AirPods, that one is $30. And so this will work with both uh, AirPods. It doesn't matter which ones you have, the one or the twos or the wireless or the non-wireless. doesn't matter. They're all the same shape as far as the case. Um, and so let me pull it out. It's over here. So here we have, and it's the same type of leather that you've seen on, on the other products here before, that like Horween leather. It looks really sharp, really nice. Let me go ahead and pop in the AirPods. You can see what that looks like. So one positive thing about this is it will allow you to, to see the LED light through the case. So when I do that, you can see the LED lights up. So you can see it through the case. It's not blocking that off. And then you just pop this top piece on like so, like that. And there you go. And you can also access the button in the back as well. So if you need to push through that button right there, you can push it through the case. But in, in, like I said, you can see the LED through the front of the case. So the cap, it, there, it is going to show like a little bit slight of a gap right there. And you can probably push it down a little bit more. I just probably need to work with it. But there's a microfiber like lining inside here so it won't scratch up the AirPods or anything like that. But this will do a good job of protecting the AirPods to make sure they don't get banged up or scratched up because, you know, that glossy white case that the AirPods come in, uh, it gets scratched up pretty easily. And that actually adds a little nice flavor, styling to it as well. So if you want something that's a little bit different, you can have a pair of black AirPods, a black AirPod case. So that is pretty much simple, straightforward. Like I said, the wireless one here uh, will work with Qi chargers and this one retails for 35 bucks. Next on the list, we have the Base Station Hub Edition. This one retails for $100. They actually have a, another version of this that also features a charging part for the Apple Watch, and that's $139, but this is just a regular one right here. So this features three charging coils on, in, on inside this leather padding right here, just in case you need to find just the right position for your smartphone. This will work with any smartphone that, uh, that, is, uh, that works with Qi charging. And so, uh, but you can also charge two devices simultaneously at the same time. So plug this in here. It does include the wall adapter, like a regular wall adapter plug. So if you plug that in right there, so you can put your iPhone there, as you see it's charging right now, and then you can put your AirPods right there and it is charging the AirPods, the light is up. And you, as if you notice, there's LED lights in the front right here. So they go from orange to white when the item on top of it is fully charged. And so that actually will auto dim on the bottom too. So they'll be bright when the lights are on and when you turn the lights off, so that way this doesn't bother you next to your bed, those, those lights will go down just a little bit so it's not like too, uh, too harsh in your face. So when it comes to charging devices, if you're charging one device, it'll charge it up using 10 watts of power, okay, which is much faster. If you're gonna be charging up two devices, it's gonna do 7.5 watts for each device. And the other cool thing is, so you can charge two things simultaneously on top of it, but you can also use the ports in the back right here as well. And it does feature a USB-A and a USB Type-C port on the back so you can charge four things all at the same time so that usb type a is going to put out uh, 7.5 watts and that usb type c will put out 18 watts of power and then we have the little port right there for the uh the, the wall adapter that you use with it as well so really nice looking product has a nice uh, leather soft top on here uh, the status led lights and it does include the wall adapter like i said so really nice charging pad i, I personally use this for all of my phones uh, charging all my devices on the side of my bed this is what i use for my airpods and my app my iphone 11 pro personally at home all right, and last on the list, we have the Apple Watch Stand from Nomad. And so this is actually an older version I have here. This is the one I personally use to charge up my Apple Watch. This is the silver one, but they only show, they only have available the space gray. And so that one's $40. It's basically a just a simple stand. It has really sharp looking features to it. It's made of one solid piece of aluminum and it does have stainless steel uh, base plate on the bottom here to give it some weight, plus that rubber bottom right there. And so it does not include the charging uh, puck that comes with your Apple Watch. You have to use the one that came with it, but you you just basically reroute it. You route it through here and it goes to the back right there and you kind of hide it so it tucks away. And it does, uh, and it works with the uh, the Apple Watch, any, every, any version of the Apple Watch, they're all the same size. And as you can see there, it charges it up. Right now it's not plugged in, so it's not charging anything. But that is what I use to charge up my Apple Watch. So this is like a really nice, simple product, 40 bucks. It looks sharp on the side of your bed and uh, you can use that with any of the Apple Watches. So that wraps up this video. And if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these products, I'll have a link down below in the description to make that really easy to find. If you wanna check out some of my other video reviews, I got two of the clips over here you can click on. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure you click on my face and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of all my new reviews as they drop on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video review.